today, COSI wrapped up its annual four-day science festival. The pandemic forced organizers to hold virtual science celebrations the last two years, so they say they were happy to invite guests back in person for the big event. NBC4's Austin Martin was there as the experiments began. Take a look. The sprinkles and clouds couldn't keep hundreds of people from coming out to the big day. This morning, a star-studded lineup kicked off the celebration with a little bit of color. It's a day meant for learning. We believe that science, technology, engineering, math is for everyone. For people of all ages. From womb to the tomb. To come out and experience science firsthand. I'm trying to inspire all of them uh, to become scientists. With some help from some professionals and some familiar faces. Mayor Andy Ginther, there. Mayor, raise your hand, please. And I have a Ginther from NBC4. We're hoping to spark some new ideas. We want all of these kids and all the adults, but especially the kids, to learn up and build an appreciation for science, that it's fun, it's exciting, and then hopefully many of them can grow and actually go into a STEM career. Parents thankful to have an event like this so close to home. I think this is a fantastic place. Kids are having fun and there's so much, so much for the first time in Columbus, Ohio. Like we have been here for decades, but nothing like this. I like the robot. NBC4 is the media sponsor for COSI. For a look at this story and more COSI content, you can head to our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in the newsroom, Austin Martin, NBC4. Also at the festival, attendees had a chance to sign a get well card for NBC4 meteorologist Bob Nunley. He's currently battling cancer and we can't wait for him to be back at work with us and we wish him a speedy recovery.